Hello and welcome to Big Scott 35. Let's talk. Uh, this is Sunday, getting it us out a little late today. And uh, got a couple things I want to touch on today. Hopefully this is not a longer one. Um, first thing is I uh, went to a card show today. Uh, it was a Saturday, Sunday card show. Uh, pretty weak. Um, some of the regular dealers weren't there. And what was there was boxes of wax retail wax everywhere uh and the thing was is it wasn't like for baseball it was not extremely overpriced but there was baseball 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 so i bought uh two of these today uh pretty much at the cost of the hanger packs on the shelf. I think well, they sell for like $9.99. $9 uh, and then I bought this for $5 more than what would be at the Target. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't even know what's so special about it. I just was like, well, if he's going to sell it to me uh, for $5 more, um, I... There were tables and tables. I don't think, I, I just think baseball retail reselling is not going to sell like basketball, football. I've been saying it for a year now. Um, I went into my local Target. I bought stuff off the shelf just walking in last couple of days this week uh, that I've gone in there. Um, <laughs> the girl who walked up to me that worked at Target Saturday. I went in there and she goes, sir, there's only baseball. And I looked at her and I was like, well, I'm glad that's what I collect. <laughs> and so I, I guess everybody was, you know, football, basketball, or basketball, football, we're doing order. Basketball, football, Pokemon. My dad said he went to Target the other day and there's actually basketball in that one. I, I it's like, it was basketball? Because uh, he, he looks for me. Uh, he said he's pretty much given up, which is fine. I told him, don't worry about it. Uh, I did pick up at a, I went to a card shop in that area too when I go down that way. I picked up a Series 2 hockey hobby box and uh, the Mandalorian. I've been been looking for this. Kind of outrageous online. That guy at the shop, they, uh, you know, you buy multiple boxes, they cut you a little deal uh, and they don't, I paid less than what the what a lot of the online uh, the big three and I didn't have to pay shipping so I kind of look at that and of course it's more than suggested retail um, I kind of gave in I, I really I wanted to open something in hockey right now it's not crazy overpriced not like baseball not like the other three sports so I'm sure it's coming but because I keep hyping up one of the young guns every time to be a hyper one. And actually one of the young guns out of this area in the Minnesota area is the big one. Um, and this one. So kind of is what it is. Uh, but I picked those up today. And I uh, picked up a bunch of singles. And I'll do a video on that coming up. Uh, pickups for this one. Um. But I just want to state that I don't know how it is in your areas when you go to shows. Uh, I would go up and look. I, I don't know if it was because it was Sunday. and it, I mean, this, this one table, he had nothing but retail wax. Didn't have a card on the table. And I was like, good grief. And he was, I mean, and he had, I think, boxes of it behind the Pokemon uh you know, I was texting my friends that like the Pokemon stuff and they I hung out trying to wait to get messages back and of course when I an hour and a half drive back home that's when they were messaging me um, so that was too late but you know it was not it wasn't two times and uh, and like I said the baseball I don't know because every table had baseball and Pokemon sealed retail so i don't know if they started competing with each other trying to sell the stuff or 
if they're just tired of collectors just not buying it you know i i'm, I'm noticing too that singles are going up uh, i think that's related to the prices of the boxes plus the season started even players that are not doing very well like all my Mets guys they, they can't hit water if they fell out of a boat right now uh, it doesn't matter who's pitching for them they, they, they were talking about how they don't score for the ground they're not scoring for anybody so um, but that's <laughs> this is a car channel not a rant on baseball channel uh, which it can be because it's all all relative. Uh, they, you know, I I, I I try to buy some Pete Alonzo's and I'm just not going to pay crazy prices. And uh, the day guy wanted a crazy price for a Pete Alonzo auto and I just walked away. I, you ask for the price when it's so high you can't even start a negotiation. Uh, haggling, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm not good at that to start with. I don't like to do that, but that's the nature of what we do. Uh, you know, to me, it was just a crazy price for a Panini product. It was a low number autograph, I guess, but it, autographs are an art. I got, I got four of his autographs. It's, you know, okay. <laughs> it was a select autograph. Uh, from last year very nice it had it was one of the buttons or whatever very nice and, but I'm sure it was a player worn maybe from a female jersey one of those things you don't know with panini you can't trust it so you know that that being said it kind of leads into what my main topic is for the night and uh, that is uh, just the prices uh, with the season getting started and the reason, you know, I, I noticed earlier in the week, um, I've been, I worked, like I said, I was supposed to be working these last two days and I had an involuntary uh, two days off, <laughs> which that was what I was telling y'all last week. This might have been a goodbye week because I, I didn't know what was going to happen with my job, but uh, it's, everything's okay and I uh, should be <laughs> all right, but uh, I worked five days in a row, you know, 60 hour week. And, uh, so, uh, I didn't have a lot of time to, uh, look at everything, especially on my, uh, sell sites, but I saw JT posted in, uh, triple crown, um, in Twitter, I think like the Joe Musgrave thing that he throws a no header and he sells his card right afterwards or a couple of his cards. And the other one was uh, Naquin, Naquin uh, for Reds. It used to be an Indian. Hit jacked a homer. Lead, you know, had, as soon as he hits the home run, like right after he hits the home run, he sells his rookie card uh, for cheap or whatever. Well, the same thing happened to me. <laughs> I looked and uh, <laughs> all my Joe Musgrave rookie cards got bought by one dude like, instantaneously after the the uh no hitter and i was like okay <laughs> so was this the day before nobody knew him or knew him but nobody cared enough to buy one of his cards on sport lot so it was cheap but the guy bought eight of them <laughs> that night and the next time joe pitches which i don't know when that's going to be i don't know if he pitched this weekend or not or what's going on <laughs> You know, if he gets shelled, what is he going to try to do, return them to me? I, I don't know. It, you know, sport lights don't work like that. But it, I just find it kind of funny. And, I mean, Musgrove, is, he's a good pitcher. I'm not taking anything away from him. But we all know how pitchers are in this hobby. There's been plenty of pitchers that threw no headers in their cards. It doesn't work like that. Unless he's going to be Sandy Koufax. So, I mean, even like Kershaw comparably speaking does not sell very well to like everyday position players so uh good for you for getting those i guess uh, i'm glad he bought them i was like what else who else played well somebody else go for two for two or but on the flip side i bought a bunch of cards from a guy and in a lot of cards that i purchased to get you know sport Lodge, 
you just buy cars, you can get it all on their same uh, shipping from the same dealer. So I was just going through, and one of the main cards I bought was a Trout Don Ross, this year's Don Ross, I forget, I think it unleashed, or one of the ones, and it was a colored red pair of red foil, one of the 50,000 different cards that they have. And uh, so when he shipped it out, it was all shipped. Well, when I got the invoice and the cards, it was highlighted and starred and everything, not in inventory. He charged me on the invoice, but when I went and looked on Sport Lots, he had it taken off. And I looked at the date it was shipped. Well, it was the same night they made a great catch and had two home runs. Trout being Trout. I mean, we know who Trout is. So I'm sure... He kept that one and said, oh, I don't have it in inventory. And you go back, he's probably got it on eBay for three times as much or whatever. Uh, it, it cracks me up. Uh, this stock market play of the cards. I mean, and I, I mean, we literally have a, a, a one of the sites is called Star Stock. So it literally works. They try to work it that way. Minute by minute. I how do you keep up with that? Does anybody keep up with that? Do you look at your stats before you go to bed at night and go on your sites and make sure everything is priced accordingly to how they played that day? Or you just jack the price up and don't worry about it? And just Because I heard one person say, just put a high price for all your cards. And whenever that guy plays well, the cards already priced that. Uh, I, I don't know. Is that a viable thing to do? I, I don't know. I, uh, I'm kind of lost at the moment on that um i just because <laughs> i mean i don't sell a lot i i try to find to me sport lots is the easiest way you see all the boxes i have of cards the easiest way for me just to put bulk out there and just get rid of it you know i've always told y'all if y'all looking for a player a team let me know i'll work out a deal with you i'm not trying to get rich i'm just trying to get rid of stuff and I'm, I'm steadily buying. I, she showed, I, I say that and I can't steadily buy stuff. But I love to rip. And I love to help other people. I and mean, when I put stuff on sport lots, it's not for me to make money. I'm hoping the majority of people, I'm helping with their PC. I'm helping them, you know, get... Because a lot of the cards I sell, you can tell it's for a, a team collector. It's for a player collector. You know, it's not all the, all the time somebody buying eight you know, of these, but I do have the purchases where somebody will come in and just go through and, you know, wipe out a bunch of my rookie cards. I, I had a buyer, I don't know if star stock goes on there or if a buyer was just named that. Cause I know that's what they deal with is rookie cards. But one of my buyers was literally star stock. I don't know. The name was literally, I don't know if it was literally the website. I don't know how that works. I don't really, I don't know how. Uh, but I, I don't know if somebody was just buying and putting it on there. And because I know it just steadily, you might not even, those cards might not ever get a home. They just get flipped back and forth to each other from my understanding. You know, somebody will buy it and repost it and charge more. I, you know, I, I know that's a thing. I know people go out and look for that. But some of the rookies that I'm selling are just okay. And I know I'm selling them for cheap, but I have 20 of them. I, I just want to get rid of them. They're not guys I look for. So I'd much rather help out people that are with PC, uh, things like that. I just wanted to mention that while I'm talking about this. But I just want to know how what people are doing. Because I know now where the hobby works. You almost have to sell. You can't be just a uh, collector. And uh, I'm very old school. I used to want to collect all of them. Um, I didn't want to sell anything. Uh, I was into trading. And, and uh, you know, if somebody wanted something for a PC and I had it, that was something that I was more happy to do. But now I just have so much stuff and way... My eyes have been open to the collecting world. I have narrowed my focus and really working on things. And it's no need for me to keep things. I do have like books like this that I keep stuff in. It doesn't really fit my PC. Uh, uh, one box over there that cards that 
don't really fit my PC, but I want to keep for right now. You know, things like that. But, you know, I, I do have... I am keeping quite a bit, but I am getting rid of a majority of it. And I'll be more than happy to help out y'all. So until next time, just let me know what y'all are doing. If you're selling, if you're selling, do you price it high now that the season started? And just wait for that guy to click one night and then your cards are already priced that way? Or do you steadily check them? I don't know. I have thousands and thousands of cards out there for sale. So I don't even know how to go about doing that. Um... I have stuff with uh, Triple Crown on JT that he's selling for me on, on the consignment. So I, I have no idea what's the best way to go about that. So if you can leave a comment, let me know what you're doing. And I uh, also want to uh, thank everybody uh, again. Uh, I don't know uh, what's what happened, but uh, a good thing um, is that I've, I'm steadily getting subscribers and i'm very appreciative of that uh I, it was this week uh it was very humbling to me to see that seeing people in the community i feel like i have a very good group that i, I correspond with now and i hope that group gets bigger and uh at the same time closer <laughs> that makes sense like you know, I would like to add more people and I would like for us people to get closer coordinated. I would love to get together and go, okay, what do you like? I know like Reese and D, Notre Dame, Philadelphia, uh, uh, Nina uh, S likes uh, the Cleveland Indians. And the reason I know that is because... Uh, me and her on uh, being on some auction sites and she's going after all the Indians and we've talked about Francisco Lindor and uh, Andres Jimenez uh, Haas with the Cleveland teams you know I I like that so when I come across stuff that's maybe a little bit special I can contact you guys and go hey I got this are you interested you know like I said I'm not trying to be rich uh, off of cards if I get rich it's going to be uh you know lottery or something but i just want to uh help others that's all i want to do so until next time see ya